Hi, I'm Dave of L. David Likes Photography, and we're going to talk a little bit about masking. Okay, uh, pretty much takes me to a new level of control in Photoshop, and uh, with new uh, Photoshop Elements 9, you can also go, you can also do masking. And uh, okay, let's start off with uh, basic uh, artwork, which is uh, black butterfly on uh, white uh, background. And as you look down here, you can see it's just one layer, and the layer's locked with this little lock button. Okay, so we're going to add another layer underneath it. And uh, the way I did that was uh, I created a new layer. I did a, uh, a gradient uh, with yellow, and that allowed me to do just that. Okay. Uh, but as you can see, the white and black artwork is above this gradient and so you cannot see the gradient below because it's covering it up okay so um, what I did was I made a selection using the magic wand I clicked on the black artwork or the uh, black butterfly and I came down to this button down here which is add a layer mask and that changed uh, the white artwork from white to the underneath so you could seal you could see the underneath um, uh, gradient yellow gradient and we've created a mask and if you look um, if you look you can see this black mask with a white butterfly in it that's the mask and there's a link in between that and the artwork okay Now, if I, hold, I click on the uh, mask and I hold down or hold down the shift key and click on the uh, the mask, uh, you get this red X there. And what happens is that um, uh, kills the mask. Uh, so you can see the original artwork has not changed. Okay. So um, now I've uh, I've uh, I've clicked on that mask and turned off the. Uh, the uh, whatever you do to turn off the X is no longer there the red X and now the mask is working again and um, there is you could and you can see this link between the artwork and the mask and what I did was I went out on the uh, on the artwork and I drug the uh, butterfly down and if you look on the mask you can see the butterfly followed the artwork because it's linked to this link in between the two Okay, now uh, I went down to the lower layer, and and I and I went on onto the uh, the uh, lower layer, and I drug the lower layer up, and uh, so now I drug it so far that uh, now there's only transparency, and again the butterfly is showing through uh, because it's in white, uh, but. Uh, the white uh, that used to be around the butterfly is not showing because the black mask is still concealing that. It's still concealing it. Okay, and what I did was I delinked the two, the uh, the mask and the artwork, and I went out on the butterfly and I just drug it. And guess what? See, uh, it the uh, mask is no longer following the artwork, and so some of the white around the butterfly is showing through. So here's a point, painting with black conceals. Okay, so in addition to the mask itself, which is black, and concealing the, the white around the artwork, um, you can come up and get a paintbrush, click on the foreground colors black, and then start painting. Actually, you got to click on the mask, and you can start painting on, on the where the mask is on the artwork and over the butterfly the white and it actually starts getting darker on the mask and it, it conceals uh, the butterfly now if I change the foreground color to white it reveals and here's an example of that I went 
click the foreground color white. I still use the paintbrush. I went back and painted over the area. Make sure you're still connected or clicked on the mask. And I painted over the uh, where the butterfly was, and it brought the butterfly back. Now I went too far out on the edge, uh, and all of a sudden it started bringing some of the white, the original art, white artwork back as well. So, but anyway, the point is, black conceals and painting with white reveals. Okay, so the nice thing about masking is it allows me to edit an image non-destructively um, in that whatever I remove I can always put back. Uh, so that's a nice feature. Some masking uses, you know, are not just for, you know, changing the artwork uh, or just, you know, masking out some artwork. You can use it for several things in Photoshop. Photoshop comes with adjustment layers which have already have a white mask uh, built into them and so you can actually paint over those. Uh, Levels has a white mask built in uh, which you can paint over with black ink you know uh, to change or to uh, to hide you know because black uh, conceals and white reveals. Uh, hue saturation you can create a big sat hue saturation color and then over certain areas that you don't want it you can you can mask out that uh, you can do it with sharpening you can sharpen the heck out of the picture and let's say you only really want it around say the eyes well then you can you can mask out everything but the eyes and make the eyes sharper uh, you can do it with text you know uh, you can do it with selections in just certain areas and finally you can do it with retouching okay uh, this can be done in Photoshop or in Photoshop Elements. I'm just going to st strictly stay with uh, layer masking that either one you can do. And uh, even in Photoshop Elements, if you come down to this black and white circle, which is the adjustments layer, and you click on that, uh, as I have here, uh, I have several different adjustments, and I'm going to go up and click on Levels. And when you click on Levels, Notice it opens the levels box, but uh, there's this this white mask that's automatically created. And guess what? This has been in Photoshop Elements forever. Even before there was uh, masking in Elements 9, uh, previous versions had this built-in mask, believe it or not. And so what we're going to do is we're going to darken the sky down. So uh, so as I darken the sky down, you'll notice the whole image is getting darker, though. So, uh, so I really like kind of like this blue sky, like right here. I'm just kind of playing around with how I like the sky. I'm not worried about the ground at this point. Okay, so I've gotten I've gotten the sky to look good, but the ground does not look good. Well, if I click on the mask, I come over and click on the paintbrush, and guess what? We're, which is going to be white or black? Uh, white. Uh, reveals and black conceals. So in this case I switch to black and um, uh, r r use your square bracket key uh, on your uh, keyboard. I use the right one to enlarge left one to make it smaller and you can and I'm using a soft brush. I can come down here at 100% opacity and I just start painting and as I paint through here Look at the mask. See the black? Black is hiding the what's the levels done on this top portion. Now I might make my brush a little smaller, come down and get these smaller areas. Okay. And you know the cool thing about masking is you don't have to get it perfect your first time. See, it kind of kind of overlapped a little bit here. So I can go back to white and just darken down some of those areas that I went a little too far. Okay, I didn't write that in there. Um, there you go. So, um, look at uh, that's after and this is before. Uh, makes a drastically different picture, doesn't it?